How's it going everyone? It is Wilson Plays here and today I am back. Yes. Um, I'm not sure how this is going to go in the future but for right now I am back but um, without waffling on. Today I'm going to be starting my Grand Theft Auto 3 100% playthrough. Um, if you remember many many months ago we finished uh, GTA Vice City and of course I released a straw poll to vote for the next GTA that we play through. Um, GTA 3 won the vote. <laughs> I can't believe I actually remember that because I didn't click on the straw poll just to make sure. Um, but I know it was GTA 3 that won. Um, so yeah, we're here in GTA 3. And we're about to start a very long playthrough. Let's see how many months this takes me to complete then, uh, shall we? So um, I think I've got everything set up. So let's hit new game. Let's go. I'll talk a bit more sort of as we get to gameplay really. Michael Bay cutscene from 2001, as you do. Old school GTA. Remember, this was the first 3D GTA. <laughs> it's pretty insane. Liberty City is in shock today as the police and emergency services deal with the aftermath of a devastating attack on a police convoy this morning. As yet, no details have been released about the prisoners being transferred in the convoy, and no group has claimed responsibility. The convoy left police headquarters early this morning for a routine transfer of felons to Liberty Penitentiary. The attack took place on the Callahan Bridge, leaving few witnesses, and the bridge itself severely damaged. Some of the convicts are thought to have perished in the explosion that followed the initial attack. Revelations as to the professionalism of the attack struck police hours afterward when identification of the missing felons were further hampered by an attack by computer hackers on police headquarter databases. With the Porter Tunnel Project falling behind schedule, this disaster leaves Portland isolated from the rest of the city. I'll stop abusing the microphone now. <laughs> Come on, All right? I think we're in gameplay now. I know a place on the edge of the red light district where we can lay low. But my hands are all messed up, so you better drive, brother. Right. So, to answer a question that I'm sure is on everyone's lips or in everyone's head, um, will I be doing this full time? Will I be able to finish GTA 3 in a reasonable manner? Um, that's the idea anyway, um, just for those guys that don't know, I did put this in the Discord server and actually made a video but haven't uploaded it. Um, I basically recently lost my job, so I'm not doing YouTube as sort of a replacement for that because it just isn't, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't work. Um, but for right now, to keep myself occupied while I'm searching for jobs and doing all that boring stuff, um, I'm back doing YouTube. Hopefully I can get back into it, you know, relatively decently. This is the place right here. Let's get off the street and find a change of clothes. Yeah, I'm hoping to get back into it relatively decently. Uh, kind of consistent-ish uploads. I d I'm not going to put, like, mountains of pressure on myself to be able to keep up with this. But I'm going to hopefully try and do bits and pieces just so I'm busy and stuff. And of course, I d 
as I've always said to you guys, I do enjoy doing YouTube. I really do enjoy it. It's just previously I didn't have the time and other sort of other sort of life concerns that stopped me doing this. Really, I, I guess is the best way I can put it. So we got a cut scene here. I'm going to be quiet for this. I can hear music, but I don't think it's clear enough to be a copyright issue. I hope. And the music's gone. What a successful club. Hey, fool, got some business upstairs. Well, maybe you could do me a favor. One of my girls needs a ride, so grab a car and pick up Misty from the clinic, then bring her back here. Remember, no one messes with my girl. So keep your hands on the wheel. You don't mess this up. Maybe there'll be more work for you. Now get out of here. Cool. Relatively simple. Um, just another thing as well. If if it doesn't, if I don't sound like kind of surprised at everything, I'm. You must. If you're new to the channel, uh, this will be beneficial for you. I know the old GTA is like the back of my hand. Uh, of course, there's a lot that I don't know about the game, you know, extra things such as where the special vehicles are, like, you know, explosion proof, bulletproof and all that, how to get them. Um, some glitches I probably don't know. But from a gameplay and story mode perspective, there isn't a lot that I don't know slash remember from these games. So, if I don't sound surprised at almost anything um, during this playthrough, that's why. Plus, I used to watch speed speedrunners, so, uh, and and that wasn't too long ago. So I do remember a lot about these games, um, GTA Three, obviously being one of those games as well. Uh, let's just start the new mission or the next one. Don't spank my bitch up. That's um, demonetize my video, definitely. We just said to to give you this. So here, here, take it. by the name of Spank. Some wise man has been introducing this trash to my girl down Portland Harbor. Go and introduce a bat to his face. Then take his car, respray it. I want compensation for this insult. All right, man. Going a bit crazy. <laughs> um, I'm just wondering why I can't sprint. Is it... I think it's the opposite side shift key for some reason. I'll remap that between um, between episodes. Um, there is one more thing I want to touch upon. You've probably already noticed this from the video so far. That I'm not running the much loved widescreen fix. Now, there is, a, there is two reasons for this. I, well, I say two reasons. There's one reason. But I guess there is a benefit for me not running the widescreen fix. I could just run those guys over, by the way. Um, that's a speedrunning tactic. But uh, we'll do it properly. As if I'd never played the game before. Um, but yeah, the main reason I won't run the widescreen fix, or I'm not running the widescreen fix at the moment, is the fact that it crashes my game. For some reason, um, basically I can, I can load the game. But for those of you guys that might be pretty new to my channel or you just don't remember because obviously I've not uploaded in months. I own an ultra wide monitor um, which makes recording ridiculously awkward and with the widescreen fix it launches the game in my native resolution which is 2560 by 1080 which I can't record in. Um, well I can but it'll just break uh, pretty much. So um, obviously what I've been doing while having this monitor is just lowering the resolution to 1920 by 1080 which is obviously um, what's the word I'm looking for more typical for a YouTube video and um, the game was crashing basically while I was doing that lowering the resolution it would just crash um, only happened with the widescreen fix so I've had to turn it off um, but to be fair I don't find that too terribly bad and the reason I say that is for those guys that's been subscribed to me for a while, um, you guys will actually know that I'm not 
a massive fan of the widescreen fix in general. I just think it changes the game too much. It just looks a bit strange. It doesn't look um, like it was supposed to look that way, if that makes sense. Um, which I know sounds pretty weird, but that's how always how I've seen it. So that's the reason I'm not running widescreen fix. I am running silent patch just to get rid of some of the annoyances that comes with these old GTAs. For example, the wrong frame limiter and the... Um, I believe in this game there's a cursor glitch. Some action from his regular girl Misty. Go pick her up at Hepburn Heights, but watch yourself. That's Diablo turf. Then run her over to his garage and threaten and make it quick. Joey ain't the kind you keep waiting. Remember, this is your foot in the door. So keep your eyes on the road and off Misty. So yeah, there was a also a cursor glitch that I found out about during my frosted winter playthrough. Um which Silent Patch gets rid of as well. I'm sure a lot of you guys, if you're watching this, know what Silent Patch is and what it does uh, for GTA 3. Um, so I guess that's the rundown of the series. I mean, what more is there to say apart from just getting into it and kind of getting on with it, really? So we're picking Misty up here. Let's take Misty to Joey's. Also, any sort of feedback that you guys have, let me know uh, in terms of like video quality, audio volume, audio quality, just anything that you guys have. You know, I love feedback. I love always wanting to improve. I have, I am running pretty generic settings for OBS, so I'm not sure if this is going to look any good. Um, I did a quick test, but not too much. said you were reliable so come back later there might be some work for you all right all right simple seriously what the, where in god's name is my car right do you know what i'm gonna someone just died in the background i heard that uh, what i'm gonna do is i'm going to remap this now because uh there we go i suppose because it is bugging me that I can't run without reaching to the other side of my keyboard. Just doesn't feel natural, you know? So I'll fix that right now. So I already know a question that I'm going to get from people that not entirely sure how the old GTAs work. Um, wait, I'll answer that in a sec. That voice break. Take care of things for me. If you need a piece, go around back of Amnonation opposite the subway. Right. Um. What was I going to say? People that are not a hundred percent sure how the old GTAs work, you might ask this question when you're watching this video. Um. Why is the video only in thirty FPS? Why is there no sixty FPS option? Um. The reason for that is. In order to play the old GTAs without like physics breaking or anything, you're real smart. <coughs> um, but yeah, in order to play these games without like any sort of physics breaking or anything like that, you have to play with an in game option which is a frame limiter enabled. You have to play it with it enabled. Shit. I need to kill that guy with a shotgun first. Run. That might kill him actually. 
That's, that's stupid. Yeah, that's stupid. <laughs> um, watch it. Watch it. Hey, hang on. I don't want this car. Pistol is now in stock. Cool. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, you have to play with the frame limiter on to avoid like basic, basically physics and stuff can break if you play at a higher FPS than thirty. So if I'm only playing at thirty FPS, I wouldn't upload it in a higher resolution than thirty. It's as simple as that, really. The fuzzball. I mean, this mission being quite long. God, he's so aggressive. He checks me out. A policeman's ball is being held at the old school hall near the Callahan Bridge, and they'll be looking for some old school action. Now I got girls all over town walking the streets. Get them to the ball. They'll make a bundle. Get as many as them as you can before the cops drink away their green. All right. I need a four-door car. This have to do for now. We can get a police car from near the location, from near the ball, as it were. Um, but we'll use this for now. We should be fine with this. Get me another donut. I'm hungry. <laughs> get me another donut. I'm hungry. It's got one. We'll not go too far for the other ones, just because this car's slow. I think he said four. He needs a minimum of four. Um, cause basically this mission you can play till the end of the clock. You can deliver more than four and I think it gives you extra money if you do so. Um, we're not too concerned about money. I mean money in GTA 3 really doesn't matter. <laughs> because you just there's there's a couple of missions where you need a certain amount of money, but even if you don't do the extra things that contribute to 100%, which we will be doing um, during my extra streams, you don't really need money. You don't need to grind for money and stuff like that. This is, I suppose, what I'm trying to say. So there's a few police cars there. We'll get one of them. Actually, I better not leave that there. Let's move the car out of the way just in case. Okay. So we're going to get that one. And then we're going to spin around and get the other two from over there, near the docks. Or should we just make sure we pass, I guess? May as well. I believe he only wanted four anyway. So, literally, you could sit around for two minutes and 47 seconds and do nothing. I get you back. If I'm right about only needing four. But I think as well, I've still got to be careful. Because as much as I've got four girls dropped off, you can... F I think you can fail the mission if you kill one of them by accident. Even one of these extra ones that they don't really require. So I think we've still got to be careful, like, when we're approaching them, to pick them up. Just not driving into them, I guess. I thought he was going to turn. He probably did, actually. Oops. Sorry, Mafia. Leon. Leone. No! What is she doing down here? Right, let's be careful. Let's grip off road and stuff. Right, here we go. Spin. Now I wish I could pick that last one up. And take it. Or take her, sorry. Not it. Why am I objectifying people? What, what What's my problem? <laughs> um, <clears throat> but we can't. We've already got a full car. That's a rare vehicle. So is that one, Jesus. If I was doing the imports and exports right now... Seriously, move. If I was doing the imports and exports right now, I could pick those up. Because they are pretty rare. Is the uh, the bus, as it were. And the trash master. Flatbed as well if one of those appears. 
got nowhere to store those vehicles, even if I manage to um, grab one of them. They're too big for the Portland garage. So that's fine, I guess. I'm going to assume she's on this bottom road. I'm a trash master. Feels bad, man. If I was a speedrunner right now... Well, to be fair, if I was a speedrunner right now, I probably would have dropped off the four and then... looked around for those vehicles. So I don't think there's anything better you could be doing with your time. Can I deliver this last one? Deliver. It's not a parcel or a package. It's a, <laughs> it's a human being. <laughs> there I am objectifying people again. <laughs> what is wrong with me? <laughs> oh, he's going to do it again. Move. I could just smash straight through him, but... I, I don't see that working out very well. Especially if this girl dies. Because, you know, might fail the mission. Here we go. Did it. All eight. You only needed four. Got all eight. I wonder if that doubled the amount I'm going to get for the mission. How much am I going to get for the mission? 4,000. Oh, it's a bonus of two. Yeah, I guess it'd be... Originally 2,000, you get 4,000 if you do them all. That's alright then. That's A-OK -okay with me. Right, so we are 20 minutes, or over just over 20 minutes into the episode, which is normally I like to call it an episode around, around the 20 minute mark, so I'm just going to drive to the safe house and save the game. Uh, to call it 20 minutes. So... Please leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more if you want to follow me on Twitter. Yeah, and you can. Twitter link is in the description. And uh, yeah, with that out of the way, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you have any feedback, then do leave it in the comments. And I will see you guys in the next video or stream, whichever comes first. See you later, guys.